get in. Let's, let's, let's see where it takes us. Kenny, what do you think? I don't think? know where we're going, honestly. What do you think is going to happen? Hopefully we won't get stuck in here. I hope we do. Kenny, this is your apartment in Fort Worth. And right there, you are you are in your bedroom. Yes. And this is your little living room. You know what it's like, Kenny? It's like uh, the only time I've ever been downtown and stayed anywhere downtown is like when I'm in a hotel. So it's kind of like you're in a hotel. Oh, by the way, Kenny, welcome welcome to Big B TV. How's it going? Have you have you ever have you been have you officially been on Big B TV? I don't think so. Is this is this your first? This first is your time. Oh, right on, man. So you you operate you were operating the elevator with that thing? There we go. Get up. <laughs> so Kenny, tell us where we are. We are downtown Fort Worth. It's very uh what's the word? Very urban. It's very urban. Very 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 busy. And it's like a classic kind of like a classic building, Kenny. Yeah, it's a little building. My cap keeping ability. Whoa, what is this, Kenny? It looks like fun. Oh, I know what it is. This is historic. No, I don't know what it is. Strip mall. There's a lot of, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of seats. There's a lot of available sitting. A lot of available seats here. A lot of available seats, but nothing, no reason to seat. <laughs> is this where the kids hang out, Kenny? This is where, this is where the kids hang out. What's going on over there? Look at that. You know, there's there's a bar right there. There's a bar in Sturgis that looks just like that one. The one way over there? Yeah, yeah. Question number one. Question one. On average, how many times a week do you hear yourself trying to dance in the shower? I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? How many days have you gone without showering? Tell the truth. <laughs> At the most two days without showering? Yeah. That's not bad. Question number five. Who would you let punch you directly in the face? Raul Reyes. Raul. Why, because he hits, he hits soft? No, because I deserve it. From him? All the bullshit I've ever seen do. Would he punch you in the face? If I reminded him that bullshit I put him through, yeah, I probably would. This is this is a this is a question and a challenge. <laughs> Number eight. It says, can you fit your whole fist in your mouth? Have you ever tried? I've never tried. I let's do it. So. Come on. Let's come on. I mean there's like seven people here. Nah, that's a that's a big fist. Hey, Kenny, what are you what are you, what, what what are you doing now? I'm calling Uber. Uber? You know, am I stupid to to wonder whether or not you guys had Uber in <laughs> Fort Worth? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Uh -oh. Here comes trouble. I like how you called them, you, you're calling them an Uber. <laughs> For Christopher and Nissan Sentra. Okay. Okay, he's got a mustache, like me. <laughs> well, not like me, but he also has a mustache. Not necessarily like me. He's here? Oh, shit. Do you think we'll have an enlight enlightening, intelligent conversation with this Uber? Hope not. What's his name? Christopher? Christopher. Is he driving a Ram? <laughs> Christopher, do you mind if I record you? No, go for it. So, what do you want to talk about? Hey, Christopher, you know what's going on in Austin right now? South by Southwest.
How do how do people from Dallas and or Fort Worth feel about South by Southwest? Honestly, I don't really care for a lot of the bands that are playing. There are some that I would listen to. Um, I don't know the lineup this year though. Uh, we have one up here. It's called South by So What, but they just changed it to So What Festival. Really? Yeah. <laughs> South by So What? Yeah. That's... Now it's just called the So What Festival. It's happening over there in Austin right now. It's jumping. Yeah. But yeah. all your favorite bars get invaded by people who aren't from there. They section this off. They section that off. They charge you here. They charge you there. You get cut off. You get cut off from your favorite spots. I can I can see that. You know, going out of town is actually a, not a bad idea. I'm actually enjoying coming out of the small little dive bars that people don't really go to. That's true. One of your bars. That's what me and my roommate did. We found a little dive bar down the street from our house. That's where we go drink. Yeah, yeah, you, you know, yeah, yeah. But you got to go extreme dive because what I thought was dive, all of a sudden got a fence around it, and now you got to wait. And I <laughs> and I thought it was a dive bar. It wasn't dive enough. That's a true story. Fort Worth. I honestly think I don't. I think this is the first time I've ever been in Fort Worth. So is is the feud real? Like the hate between Dallas and Fort Worth and all that? I hate I hate Dallas. Yeah. <laughs> what about what about Arlington? Are we indifferent to Arlington? <laughs> Star like Wars movie. Have you seen Have you, stuff going over have the you seen the new Star Wars? No. What? I was looking busy. <laughs> <laughs> you have not seen the new Star Wars? No, I've been busy. I like what I'm seeing so far. <laughs> what, what, what about you, Kenny? What's your, what's your... I like what I see so far. <laughs> <laughs> you like you liking what you're seeing so far? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Question number nine. What is your favorite flavor of Skittles? Skittles have flavor? How many things have you ever eaten off the floor? You immediately drop it. You think the five second rule. How many times do you think you pick something off the floor immediately and eaten it? Oh, uh, countless. <laughs> <laughs> looking at my good friend Kenny Tuttle, man. You're looking great. You're looking great. And, and you're in 4K. You're in 4K, girl. What? Question number 11. How many bottles of wine have you finished without ever actually pouring it into a glass? Two bottles of wine? I never thought you'd drink wine. I love, I love, I love red wine. Dry. I love dry red wine. This is a nice one out of Spain. You like wine? Uh, come on, yeah. This is red wine. The drier the better. I don't like this sweet. Don't make it sweet. The dry. Okay, so we're deep in the heart of Vegas. I'm here with Kenny. Kenny Tuttle. You know, under this light, every 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 car that passes feels like it, it's in Tron. Mr. Tuttle. <laughs> who is your favorite, who is your favorite superhero? Hands down. Uh, Superman. He's got a movie, he's got a movie coming out. A movie? Yeah, he's fighting, he's fighting Batman. He's fighting Batman? <laughs> you, don't, you don't know this? No. What? I've been busy. <laughs> Vincent, where were you the night Whitney Houston died? Kenny, I don't remember. I don't remember Whitney dying. I don't remember when she died. I remember where I was when I found out Michael Jackson died. Can I, can I tell you that? Yeah, let's hear that one. <laughs> it sounds like you're so so. On yeah. Board for that. Let's hear it. <laughs> I don't know and I don't care where I was when, when he died, but he's goddamn right. I, I, I remember it's like Michael Jackson dying was like our this as as lame as it sounds. That was this generation's JFK, right? Isn't that 
My parents remember where they were. Yeah. Our generation remember where, where, where they were when Michael Jackson. That's the site. American Honey on the Rock. What is the weirdest place you actually unintentionally vomited? Can I tell you a true story about this? Yeah. True story. No one's ever, ever, ever heard this story. Okay. First time I've ever told this story. They love smoking pot, right? Uh -huh. and they always try to. They always try to get me to. I was drinking all night. I think I was out somewhere drinking. And then I drank. They were smoking pot all night. So they handed me. You know, they gave me a joint. And I smoked it. I smoked it. And then I started coughing. <laughs> and then I vomited. But they did it. See me vomit. This is the gross, this is the gross story you're gonna hear. Uh -huh. So I was coughing and I coughed so much. I was, uh, 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 and then the last cough, uh, everything came out of my stomach. I vomited on the floor. Their dog came up and ate it before they saw. I had this. Uh, there's this whole puddle of vomit. <laughs> But then this dog, their dog came up and they, they ate it all. To this day, they never knew? They never knew. <laughs> that boy was spick and span. He ate it and got drunk? He ate it and he's like, whoa. Whoa. Let's get a picture. Let's get, let's get a shot of this. This is the new... Kenny, why do you keep leaving your TV on? You want to leave my TV on? It's my fucking house. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny, is, you, know what, you know what I think I'm enjoying the most? Is riding in this fucking elevator. <laughs> so the reason why we're dressed... <laughs> Okay, now we're well equipped. Oh, it's, it feels so much better. It got so cold, we had to go back in your place and change. We had to get a, a moderate jacket on. <laughs> Which is a step up from the light jacket. So we're from the light, but not too crazy. I had to borrow, I had to borrow. I borrowed some of your fleece. <laughs> Let me see if I can. <laughs> Let me see. He's texting. <laughs> texting. Is that JFK using your phone to text? Yeah, he is borrowing it. His phone guy. He's checking his Facebook? Yeah. From the future? <laughs> so why is, it in, why is this in Fort Worth? Because he stayed here the night before. Is, is Hilton? Oh. Next door? Oh, it's a handsome looking, it's ha handsome looking statue. I love the slacks. Look at the little shoes. Those are some nice shoes. Press slacks. Tailored suit. He was a slick president, wasn't he? I wonder if my brother knows about this. My brother's him and Jackie O. Yep. Dun 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 dun. Oh, Jackie O. They called them Camelot, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, yeah. No, do that, do that. <laughs> oh, shit. What's that now? Jazz Lounge. Can you get the elevator to take you to the basement? Is it open? Scott Jazz, Scott Jazz Lounge? Yeah. It's 
the elevator. I don't know how you get down there. Maybe with a, uh, a wink and a promise? We don't know the password. Well, I think this is enough. I think coming up, walking up to it was good enough. Oh, well. Oh, get in. Let's, let's see where it takes us. You can push a button or something. Kenny, what do you I think? I know where we're going, honestly. What do you think is going to happen? Hopefully, we won't get stuck in here. I hope we do. I think they're closed. <laughs> That was fun. That's scat. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. What's the weirdest place you've ever unintentionally vomited? My mom's, uh, my mom's wedding in the bathroom. Oh, cause you were nervous? No, she uh, you drink? got me drunk for the first time. What? Yeah. How old were you? I just turned 19. Did you make it in the I didn't make it to the toilet. I made it in the bathroom. In the bathroom? And all over the toilet. <laughs> that counts. That counts. That counts. Question number 34. Uh -huh. Who do you hate the most? Hate the most? Yeah. Ooh. If it was somebody I hate the most in my life right now, is my stepmom. You know, I naturally... My curiosity would ask why, but I think that's a that's a personal. No, no, I'm not ashamed. I hate her. The reason being is she makes everything and my, me and my dad's relationship difficult. Like everything. Like when it comes down to his grandson, his first grandson, down to my wife, she makes it completely difficult out of jealousy for no reason but you don't even have to be jealous but that's how she is I mean she, it's, it seems like she's still a child in her mind when she is almost 40 years old and she's supposed to be an adult so that's the person I hate the most thank you for taking me to the JFK <laughs> memorial um, I can I see you were touched by it he yeah, did. Gonna, he did a hip hop pose. I pose next to him. Yeah. This is like the seventeenth time that we've been in this room. Uh, I am uh, northbound I thirty five, heading into Fort Worth. I'm gonna go see my good friend Kenny Tuttle. I've known Kenny for about ten years, eleven. I don't know. Maybe it's 10, 11, 12, It's hard to say. Uh, we've been, you know, through ups and downs with each other. It's just good to get out there. It's gonna be good to see him. A good friend, he, uh, his family. This is what you do for your family. You pack up your car and you go and you see him. He did probably one of the, he gave me the biggest honor by making me the best man at his wedding. Man, I had never been a best man before. I don't think I ever will again. It was awesome. It was cool. Uh, what's interesting is we weren't even really that close of friends. No, that's not true. I didn't think I, I have no idea why he picked me to be best man. Uh, maybe I'll ask him. Nah, you know what, I don't want to know. And that's why we're the only ones to see the competition to the soul. Oh, 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 oh. You must have like a ton of land, crushing out a pop of your head.
I am Kelvin Woods, and this is Big V TV. <laughs> yes. All right.